name's Nicole. This is my lovely model, Mike, or you might know him as Mike MGTV here on YouTube. And today we are coming at you with a great beginner body paint uh, that is actually a contest entry for the European Body Art video tutorial makeup contest thing that they're doing. And I decided to turn Mike into... I'm the male Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas. So stay tuned for how I did this entire process. There will be links to European body art in the description bar below as well as links to his shit because you guys can actually watch a full time lapse of the entire thing on his channel. <laughs> it took us about three and a half hours to do this. So let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, so first starting off using the Vibe water-based liquid makeup in blue and white. I used an airbrush and I kind of got the base skin tone that I wanted that kind of matched Sally's and I went over Mike's arms and his face and then just using the straight white, I kind of based out where the tank top version of Sally's dress would be laying on Mike. And I just did that as a thin coat so it'd pop a little bit more. Then going back in using the black from the exact same kit that I got everything from and a paintbrush, I went through and marked the outline of the tank top and then started to plan out where all of my patches were gonna be for the shape work of this tank top, including a little cut hole and then my initial stitches. Then using the yellow from the same kit, I went and started filling in some of the squares because there was a bunch of different colors we we're gonna use and we wanted to play them out where we thought they best looked. Then going in, we mixed a little bit of the red and the white to get this beautiful pink color, added in some squares of that, made our own teal using the prime green, prime blue and white and then went in and filled some of the remaining squares with black, some of them with yellow, and some of them with pink. So we just kind of made sure that everything looked super fun and whimsical and as close to Sally as we could get it, but still having our own little bit of flair to it. Then I went back in with the black to add in all of our detailing to make the patches a little bit more interesting, so that included uneven stripes that included swirls, polka dots, zigzags, hash lines, redoing all of the stitch marks as well. And it really started to make the entire thing pop and come to life, which made me very excited. Then I went back in with the same blue and white that I had mixed earlier and started to go over more of Mike's arms and his hands. And then I actually elongated the black that was on the outside of the tank top, pushed it back to make Mike look even slimmer than he already is. Then went in and started to do some of the stitch marks on his arms as well as his neck. Went over his eyes to kind of make them have that blacked out look without having to give him eyeliner. We did his mouth with the stitches, kind of in a Glasgow smile style of opening, but still keeping it fun and whimsical. And then just added a little bit more to his eyebrows to make everything pop. And then of course, nothing's complete without taking beautiful selfies with all of the black background and the awesome lighting in Mike's apartment. Um, for beginner body painters, this is great materials to use. Uh, they're really easy to mix. You can use them with an airbrush, you can use them with a sponge, you can use them with a brush, which is awesome. And I really enjoy working with European Body Art. If you guys want to watch more of my links to his stuff in the description bar below. As always, there's links to my stuff in there as well. Don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to live each day a little more wise and undead. <laughs> and undead. So, yeah. Yes. Bye. Bye.